Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcleTechsHomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marsas with your Tuesday morning forecast update. We continue to dry out a bit across the Arkletex today. That said, we do have that 20 to 30 percent chance we'll see a pop-up shower this afternoon. And again, just the splash and dash variety, so we're not looking at any prolonged rain. No heavy rain today, but rather those showers that kind of scoot through for about 5 to 10 minutes. So hopefully we can get a few of those going just to help us out with the afternoon heat today. Your temperature is actually coming in a little bit below average this afternoon as most of us will settle into the low 90s today. We don't have any rain in the Arkletex. You can see a few rain showers over by the Mississippi border. Again, nothing that will affect us early in the day, so your early morning commute will be unaffected by any rainfall here. We continue to have basically what is this washed out frontal boundary across the region. This is what gave us uh, some of the rain the past few days as well as the comfortable temperatures yesterday. So this front has kind of lost its strength a bit here, but it is still kind of lingering in the upper levels of the atmosphere, so that's what may trigger a few of those isolated showers later today. But uh, once again, if you can get out there early, very nice July morning. It looks like most of us are headed for the upper 60s at sunrise, and again, the humidity still fairly low today, but we'll start to feel that come back uh, more tomorrow and in, into Thursday. So for the morning commute here, since we have cooled off a little bit, we do have some patchy to dense fog once again north of Interstate 30, but it doesn't look like any widespread fog issues for us this morning, and we're looking at highs this afternoon in the low 90s. Typical high is about 94, so most of us will be a degree or two below that, but uh, still a degree or two warmer than yesterday. So we're still stuck between these two ridges of high pressure, one of those out in the Atlantic and one of those out to the west. This one out in the Atlantic will actually build in a little bit in the upcoming days, so that's why we expect to dry out somewhat through the middle of the week. So uh, we may see today just some of those isolated showers this afternoon. Again, dry through the morning here, but you can see uh, some of those scattered showers this afternoon. I've gone 20% with the rain chance today, but what Futurecast is reflecting would be uh, more 30 to 40% coverage of the showers out there, which very well could come true here. But if we do see any rain, again, it's going to be fairly short-lived today, probably have minimal impact on any outdoor plans that you may have today. And uh, for tomorrow, you can see the rain pushing a little bit further to the east as we'll continue to dry out. We'll actually see highs back into the mid-90s with a little more humidity tomorrow. Not much rain out there. This will uh, cover the next two days here, so likely less than a tenth of an inch of rainfall in all areas. And look at your seven-day forecast showing uh, we do kind of heat up here Wednesday through Friday, but as long as we can keep that rain machine turned on a bit, we'll avoid uh, the heat advisories and any kind of extended heat wave. And we do have those scattered showers coming back this weekend. Again, the weekend won't be a washout, but we will have especially uh, some of those afternoon and evening showers both Saturday and Sunday, and it looks like an increase in some of those sea breeze type storms early next week.